Hello everybody, welcome to Virtual School Physics is Fun. This is Puan Liao again. Welcome to today's topic, damping. What is damping? Will a pendulum that is oscillating continue to oscillate forever? Let's look at this video. Okay, this pendulum is oscillating. Look at the energy. The energy decreases as the pendulum slows down. Alright, it's slowing down. Slowing down further. Until Eventually, it stops and there's no more energy. So that answers our question. Will a pendulum continue to oscillate forever? Of course, no. Okay, why? Because there is loss of energy to the surrounding. So this loss of energy to the surrounding is called damping. Okay, so the amplitude of a vibrating or oscillating body will decrease. This is because there is loss of energy to the surrounding as heat. So this decrease in amplitude is called damping. All right, let's look at this displacement against time graph. As you can see, the displacement, the amplitude decreases. Okay, as time goes by, the amplitude decreases because there is loss of energy to the surrounding. So that tells us that amplitude is the energy, right? So if it is amplitude against time graph, you can see the amplitude decreases. So this defeats damping. Okay, there are two ways, there are two types of damping because there are two ways that the energy can be lost. One is called the external damping. So external damping is a loss of energy to overcome frictional force air resistant. As the pendulum oscillate, the pendulum bob is brushing against the air molecules, so there is uh, air friction, there is air resistant, so energy is lost as heat. So this is called external damping. But there is also internal damping. Okay, So internal damping is due to compression and extension of atoms and molecules of the system. So example is uh, a, a, an oscillating spring. Okay, A spring stretches and compress, stretch and compress. So there is uh, compression and extension of the molecules and the, 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 the atoms in the system that, that uh, causes internal damping. Okay, what about this look at these two springs the black spring and the blue spring you can see that the black spring continue to oscillate up and down without slowing down so it does not undergo damping but the blue spring slows down after some time okay now so we say that the blue spring undergoes damping Okay, let's look at the graph, their respective graph. The black graph correspond to the black spring and the blue graphs is for the blue spring. Let's look at these two graphs. As we can see very clearly, the amplitude of the blue spring decreases with time. Okay, amplitude decreases, so which means blue spring undergoes damping but the black spring the amplitude does not decrease there's no change it remains high okay so there is no damping for the black spring okay what about the frequency look at their frequency does frequency change in damping Okay, so we know we say that the black spring does not undergo damping, but the blue spring, yes. So what is the frequency of the black spring and the blue spring? 
Both of them made four complete oscillations in 25 seconds. That is, their frequency is 0 0.16 hertz. So, does the frequency decrease or increase? No, right? You see that? The frequency remains the same. Okay, so this tells us that in damping, amplitude decreases, but the frequency remains unchanged. Okay, I repeat now. Huh? In damping, amplitude decreases, but frequency remains unchanged. But why? Okay, so the decrease in amplitude is called damping, but the frequency no change. This is because in damping, the system lost energy. As you can see from the first slide, yeah, the video, the kinetic energy decreases. All right, so resulting in a decrease in amplitude, so the displacement decreases. So even though the displacement is smaller, the velocity decreases, the kinetic energy decreases. Therefore, the time taken to complete one complete oscillation remains the same. Okay, I repeat, huh? due to damping, the system loses energy, the kinetic energy resulting in a decrease in amplitude. So, even though the displacement is smaller, the velocity, the kinetic energy, is also smaller. Therefore, the time taken to complete one oscillation remains the same. Okay, that's all about damping. Thank you. We will see you again.